here's all the parts. I put them up on my workbench here and I'm going to go ahead and clean everything. But you can see that this piston just when it broke, the piston rod that is, it just left shrouds of metal everywhere. There's pieces all over this crankcase. Here's the crankshaft and you can see the pin, the crank pin here is pretty scored. I'm not sure if that's going to clean up or we're going to be able to keep that. Also the inside of the cylinder I showed you earlier where we've got a right here we've got a big crack. There's also some suspect areas that I'm wondering about that have some hairline cracks as well. So let's go ahead and I'm clean just all starting this up. to clean and uh, I was wiping the cylinder down here. This is the one part of the engine that I have the biggest concerns with. And I mean to tell you when these Briggs engines go and they break inside you have all kinds of problems. Look at all look at all this metal and all the fragments. I mean there's just tons of it inside here because it's being an aluminum cylinder. So whether we're going to be even to save the cylinder or not, here's more. Um, remains to be seen. I'm going to keep cleaning. Everything's it. now clean and let's take a look at what we've got. The cylinder is actually in worse shape than I thought. We have some real problems here. I mentioned earlier that crack that we have that's right here. But when you look at this closer, there's other things going on. The inside of the cylinder wall right here is missing a big chunk all right here. That's all completely gone. Further, we've got some cracks and these are hairline cracks. There's one right here and then there's another one that starts right here and comes all the way down. So clearly this cylinder has been compromised. And also too where the rod lifters come in, in these three areas right here for the intake and the exhaust, we have the center piece and this is chewed up on the side, you can clearly see that. So I'm afraid the cylinder is shot. This thing is bound for the trash can. Now the crankcase is in pretty good shape. Here's the crank and uh, that cleaned up real well. Oil pump's good here and uh, the rest of it is in, in pretty good shape. Piston, well here's the piston, we know the story on that thing. And there's the connecting rod or what was left of it. But also when you look at the piston a little closer, you can see we've got some real wear going on right here on the side of the piston. And the rest of it is, the rod's obviously gone, but the rest of the piston, you know, we're not going to be able to use it. That's going to have to be done. I didn't bother to take the rings off. Valve cover, that's all right. Cylinder head, that cleaned up with the exception of the valves. They're just completely roasted, uh, really baked on. The carbon wouldn't hardly even come off. I'd have to literally steel brush this and I really don't want to do that. So I'm afraid the cylinder head is in really bad shape. The valves, obviously, I didn't take those out, but the lifters and everything else were fine. But Considering the way these valves are baked in there, those are going to have to come out if we reuse it. The cam, you know, it's amazing when you start looking at these things what you find. To me, it looked fine, but I started looking at it closer, and right here on the cam, you can see, actually the little part just fell out. Right here, there's a piece that's forged on it. Whoops forged on right here and also here and there's a little part right there the thing just fell right out so cam shot we can't use that and finally the crankshaft the crankshaft cleaned up but we've got scoring here and uh, I don't really even know if we can reuse this so I think we're looking at a brand new motor, guys. I mean, there's really no other way around it when you price out what you have to buy in parts to do this thing. Here's the oil slinger. Um, appeared to be okay, but when I was going through it, I found this little piece inside. It's like a spring. And I have no idea what this is part of. 
I'm guessing it was part of the springer, but it's complete of the uh, oil slinger that is, and that is completely chewed. Here's one of the valve tippets. It looks okay, for, but when you really look closely at it, you can see how it's scarred on the side. So that could be milled, but for what it's worth, it's probably just better buying a new one. So I'm afraid we're really looking at a brand new motor all the way around because about the only thing that can be reused out of all these parts I cleaned is this crankcase. And finally, I showed you the rods before, the lifters. You can actually see them right here. Here's the exhaust, which is made out of steel, and the intake, which is aluminum, and that's just completely, look how much that's bent. And here's all the pieces that I found inside from the piston rod that sheared.